everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. Sorry about the live stream yesterday and that it cut off. Um, I don't know what happened. I think a bunch of clouds came by and it cut off. And the last time that happened, I was able to just click a thing and, and restart it, but I wasn't able to do it this time. So I started a new live stream and I didn't think anybody was going to be able to find it. So we just ended it. But thank you everybody for coming. You guys are awesome. It was a fun chat and I liked having Cody and Emma there. So that was great. So today um, I've got a few things I need to do. I don't know if I'll film everything, but I did want to show you one idea I have for the wood burning stove, how to get the stovepipe out of the tiny house. So here, let me turn this around and I'm going to show you. Okay, here's the wood burning stove. This is the, this is about as far as I want it to go up inside of the house. And then I found this piece of wood. It's just a remnant from like, kind of like a homemade desktop thingy that I made for the van. And guess what? It fits perfectly inside of here, except for it's a little bit too long. So I have to get about this much cut off and then it is going to fit absolutely perfectly and it's right it's the uh, right sides width see it fits right down into there and from top to bottom it's the right size um, this will go up underneath the rubber and I may put a little bit of rubber underneath of here but if I can just hold this here um, it's too long yeah I have to get it trimmed off so what I am thinking of doing is taking the elbow pipe up and out through here, right out through here. Now I've got one elbow pipe, I've ordered another elbow pipe, and I may very well need another pipe to go through this way, and then the rest of the stove pipes up this way. I need, I think I need two more of these to get it up over the roof, and then a little clampy thing to, um, you know, secure it to the tiny house so that it doesn't, you know, go all over the place. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, I'll have to keep this window up at all times. I'll have to take this screen out, um, but that's okay. That is easy to do. So that is my idea for installing this rocket stove inside. Poor Miss Judy. She doesn't want to get going for the day. She's all warm and snuggly and cozy in her blankie. She doesn't want to get up, but I got to get her up because she will pee inside the house if I don't. But before I get going, I got to have some breakfast. And yep, this is a breakfast pizza. Well, sort of. It's got puffball mushrooms on it. For the sauce, I used sausage gravy. I got some cheese and some chives and, oh, different seasonings and whatnot. And it turned out absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, we got two of them up there. Let's see what they do. Can they get out? One of them already got out, but then I kind of put the little side thing on. What are you guys going to do? I know everybody's telling me to clip their wings, but you know what? I just... It's no big deal, right? Okay, it looks like that little extra thing that I put up there is working. I mean, literally, these, these leghorns could just fly over this fence. Look at these little girls. That's a big fat mama right there. She's big. These black chicks are growing. That little brown one over there is growing too, starting to get some more feathers on its back. The brown one is taking longer to get more of its feathers and its tail feathers. See, the rocks are already getting their tail feathers. And some of the Asian blacks, yeah, the Asian blacks are getting their tail feathers. But the little brown one, way off over there, doesn't have as many tail feathers. Okay, good girl, you jumped down. One of the little black Asians was on the little swing that's like right underneath of there that we hooked up the other day. Let's see if this one will do it. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm not having that. I'm not having that at all. <laughs> you know, I could just sit here all day. If there wasn't the fact that I had to get stuff done, 
and then I had to earn money. I, I'm going to have to go back to doing some door dashing because I seriously need to earn some more money. And the YouTube revenue has been paying my bills, but I need more for more stuff. I'll get it done. Slowly but surely. I just love these chickens, you guys. Never in my whole life did I ever imagine I would have chickens and be living this way. Oh, you be nice, girlfriend. You be nice. I think I've named that. That's Mimi right there. I could tell because she's got some weird coloring on some of her feathers. That's Mimi. So, I don't know. Maybe Eeny, Mimi, Patsy and Mo. <laughs> Who knows? They're loving their chicken feed, though. I think I'm going to go get those onions Mr. Lucas gave me and see if I can just transplant them in this bucket and maybe get them to overwinter because they... They just keep coming back every year. At least that's what Mr. Lucas says. So I want to try and, I don't know, maybe see if I can grow some, some onions in a bucket. I think I might even use two buckets. And thank goodness for this handy dandy little wagon I got. Let's see here. This is the remains of the Willy Wonka garden. I've got, well, two here now where there was only one. I've got another one here, a couple over there. Oops, I got one over here. So, um, Mr. Lucas said these mush, I mean, not mushrooms, I got mushrooms on the brain. These onions will multiply and spread, and I just want to keep track of them, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in the buckets. And I know I've got a few more down by the street, but I don't know how many, so I'm going to have to decide how many I'm going to put in each bucket. Here's what they look like out of the ground, and see this one is already spread to two. I've basically been using them for their tops and just letting the onions stay, and I keep harvesting their greens. So, uh, well, let me just get them all up, see how many I have, and see how many I can fit in each bucket. So these are the ones that I pulled out of the Willy Wonka garden that were in the clay soil. And that's just a single, that's a single, that's a double, that's a double. And so it's going to be interesting to see which one grows better. This one had a bunch of little tendrils, but only one bulb, but it has a ton of roots, and I guess that's how they spread. The roots go out, form bulbs, and they come up. I'm not sure. That one's a double, and that one's a double. So these are the ones that I got from the bed down by the street. So I'm just going to see how long I can keep them growing and whether or not they'll come back next year. Yes, and they smell absolutely wonderful. Just touching them, and then, mmm, they smell delicious. I'm in the process of clearing out this garden bed down here, and look at this log. It is just filled, filled with ants. And look at that garden bed, filled with ant eggs. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a never-ending battle with these things. So I'm just going to pull this out of the way and get it off of here, but I'm not going to take this up next to the tiny house. That's the last thing I need is more ants <laughs> next to the tiny house. I'll burn this piece of wood eventually, but not right now. Whew, would you look at that? That thing is huge, and it's right in the middle of an ant pile? What? What the heck is it? Well, it's going to become chicken food, but there's just so many ants. So many ants. Yeah, I'm going to wait to get this wood out until they, they migrate somewhere else, and one is biting me out. I pretty much flattened the raised beds that I made down here. Uh, I need to come back and pick this wood out of here and put it somewhere else. I don't know if I can use it for anything, but yeah, i got to get that out. So in case Mr. Lucas tries to mow, he doesn't get his lawnmower all messed up. But there were a lot of critters in here, frogs. Uh, ants are everywhere, so I need to wait until those ants hopefully relocate and then I can go through and get the wood because they're in the wood too. There's a little tiny black snake that went through here. Um, it just looked like a, I don't know, it didn't scare me. It was just a little baby one. I know they get bigger, but oh well, it's all the way down here. So tomorrow I'll come in, clear out the wood and flatten it a little bit better and try and take down some of these weeds. But when I look at this and I remember how much fun I had building these beds and how much work it was and now they're all broken down and I think of, gee, they didn't produce quite as much as I had hoped they would. But I had the water situation to deal with. 
next year it's going to be better. I'm not even going to do this next year. I'm just going to grow in buckets. But it's kind of a melancholy feeling, if you know what I mean. Oh, before I leave today, I got to tell you something funny. Last night, uh, the front security light went off in front of the tiny house, so I looked outside, couldn't see anything. And then on the side of the tiny house, where there is no uh, motion detector light, there is a security light, but um, it doesn't detect motion. Um, I heard something out by the fire pit, and so I got my little flashlight and looked out the window. I saw these two little beady eyes, and yep, it's a raccoon, big old fat raccoon. I had put some stuff out there to burn, and I just haven't burned it yet, and it was going through that stuff. There's nothing in there to eat. So all I did was shine my light at it a couple times, and it went away, so you have no idea how grateful I am for that van coop, because it's like a fortress. Raccoons won't be getting in there. My girls are going to be safe and sound inside that van. And the only time I have to worry about predators is when they're outside. So, oh, look at me. Look at me. I look like the Wicked Witch of the West. Anyway, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.